everyone is pumped. We've got footy fever. It's kicking off round one at the G tonight. 85,000 expected at Richmond and Carlton. Mm. And we're joined on the horn now by a Geelong and AFL legend, Mr. Joel Selwood. Good morning, mate. How are you doing? I'm going well, guys. I've been up in Melbourne and felt that bug this week. So, uh... Um, looking forward to what's coming up for a big season ahead. Obviously, um, you're here to talk about Auskick, Joel. We'll get to that in just a second. But, um, I mean, obviously being a bit sick might affect this. But I was thinking round one kicks off tonight. This is your first time in 15-plus years not playing. Are you getting a little bit itchy? Are you a bit tempted to put the boots on again? <laughs> no, I slowed up quite quickly, so I'm not, to be honest. Um, I, I had a good go at it and uh, and loved every minute of it. I would have loved to do it. Uh, for the rest of my life, but to be honest, you just got to know sometimes when it's someone else's turn. So, mm. uh, and that was my time. It was uh, it was a great um, time that I had. But um, look forward to sitting back and, and cheering on the cats now. And and ideally, maybe in five six years, we might catch you just absolutely destroying people on the country <laughs> legs. I always love that when you're like, really, he's playing for who? And they just they just you just you know just kick in like sixty points. Yeah, I just remember, going nuts. So Liam and I are from South Australia. Joel uh, living in Melbourne now, yep. but I remember um, Bergwin coming back and just destroying it in in that in the plains I, league. It's always like you shouldn't be allowed to do that. <laughs> like you, you just shouldn't be. But Joel, we're here to talk about Oz Kick. Was Oz Kick around when when you started your footy? career as a young man it was yeah well Vic kicked back then but uh, obviously become a big nation um, mm. you know competition and and the start and the journey for lots of kids that uh, get their first crack at footy and fall in love with it so we um, we've got uh, plenty going on there's a, a new program out this year again that the Oz kick program's running with um, you know bringing a friend along and and making sure that they sign up and then at the end of the year may get the chance to be on that grand final. That Maybe they're on grand final day to hand that medal over to those, uh, the winners at the end of the day. That would be so exciting. I remember when I was a young fella, I got the chance to go out onto an AFL pitch and, and have a bit of a kick around at half time. It's such an amazing feeling. If you're a kid listening, you've you've got to enter to do this. Because imagine oh, yeah. if you got to present the medal on AFL grand final and, day. And then you, you're there and you're about to present the medal. And then, you know, if whether it's Tom Stewart or another player just gets it, you know, you've just literally won a flag, you do you know, you get the medal in the heat of the moment, you forget the handshake, you might accidentally punch a kid's hat off. It happens it happens all the time, Joel. Do you think like conscious like, you know, you've won a flag like yeah. last year, take your mind back. Are you consciously thinking like I really gotta to remember to shake don't this kid's hand? Like, up. don't this is everyone's watching this? Do you, or are you just so swept up in it all? Well, you get swept up in it and um it, it gets really tough to be honest. That that's why the hat um, come in that the boys and girls have to hand over the hats yeah. these days um, to give you that self a little reminder that um, <laughs> you know it's just not about yourself or, albeit in that moment it, it can feel like that at different yeah. stages for the record anyone 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 listening to this this is how I think it should go I think it should go medal mm-hmm. then it should go handshake yes and then the hat at the end and then the celebration so then yeah there's, yep. there's a there's a three piece transaction there then yep. you can never forget the handshake one of the great ones Joe I don't even think um, your teammate Tom Stewart had the worst one. I think the best one was, I don't know if you know the player Toby Thurston, he used to play for Port Adelaide yep. like years ago, yeah. yep. and he missed the handshake <laughs> and then went over to the microphone and went, cat dog! <laughs> I, yeah. don't, I, I don't even yeah. know, I don't even know why, I don't know what the reference was for, but that was that's how he chose to spend his <laughs> his moment after after winning a flag. Well, look, if you want your own moment, if you want to present one of the medals, this is yes. an amazing opportunity, make sure you head to www.afl.nab.com.au this is a long one, slash Auskick for a chance to join the team, uh, Team NAB AFL Auskick, and present a medal to a premiership player at the 2023 Toyota AFL Grand Final. Joel, thank you so much for joining us this morning. While we've got you, but before you head, who have you got yeah. tonight, Tigers or Carlton? Oh, geez, you know, round one's always the hardest kick. Um, mm. So I just sort of getting themselves together for the first time and, and testing a few things out that mm. they didn't want to mm. um, throughout that early practice game that they had. So um, I think the Tigers may be too strong, but what would I know, to be honest? <laughs> <laughs> I reckon you know quite a bit, Joel, but, mate, it's been a pleasure having you on this morning. Appreciate your time. Thanks, guys. Enjoy.